one, Stan. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. E.T. Fun. Home. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. This is a puppy. Just a big old puppy. This is a big old puppy. Come on, Stan. Oh, Stan. Oh, Stan. Just don't do stairs. Don't do stairs. No. No. Oh, Stan, that man. As you can see, though, he. He's got his energy back. It's. I think it is just his back leg. Because he jumped up on the couch the other night. Um, he can't go upstairs. I can't jump up anything. But he just managed to jump up. And then the moment he did, he held this leg like suspended in the air like that. It was like that, wasn't it? It was like up in the air and you were like, oh no, my leg is sore. Although you still do wince a little bit if I try and hold you here. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's potentially, you've maybe pulled. If you could stay still for two seconds, stay still. I'm thinking, potentially, he's maybe like pulled a muscle in his stomach. And like here, which is why he's like, he can't like press, like, he can't like push off his legs. So you would think it's his legs, but because he's walking around fine, he's like, he's absolutely fine. I don't think it's his muscle necessarily. I think he's maybe hurt like a tendon or something, just like kind of in this area. I was going to take him to the vets, but the only problem is I'm going to go to the vets and they're going to be like, right, we don't know. So just rest him for a week and then come back and so rather than do that and waste 40 quid i'll just rest him for a week and if it doesn't get any better then i'll take him and tell him that it's been over a week so that's the plan like i say he's getting better he does he won't go up the stairs he'll jump down off things like if i carry him upstairs he'll walk downstairs if i put him on the couch he'll jump off the couch because obviously he's landing on his front legs and he's obviously fine with that and then he can like he like he's very good because what he does is like and this is Stan like here, this is Stan. He's like pop 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 But like he can't jump off his back legs, so he can't be like Wah! a jump. Because his back legs are sore. But when he jumps off something, obviously he'll Yeah this is you! This is you! Don't eat yourself! Don't eat yourself! No, stop eating yourself! But as you can see he's he's a lot more lively now, he's a bit more He's obviously still sore, but he's feeling a little less sorry for himself. Right, can you stop eating yourself so I can explain? So when he jumps off something, he lands on his front legs and then like slowly lowers his back legs down. So he's like, Whoa! isn't that right? He's quite good. So he's figured out that he can jump down things and not hurt his back legs by just like impacting the floor. He kind of like slowly. He's a good egg. He's a good little egg. But obviously he's still, still sore. But we'll get there. So you kind of ruined my plans for the week because every time I go upstairs, every time I go upstairs, he sits here. And he just cries, and it's off. And it's awful, so I'll carry him upstairs, but then you'll want a drink, so he'll come downstairs. Get so I've just stayed down here with him, because why not? We'll get everything else done next week. So we've just been down here spending the time with you, just chilling. What are you saying? Go on, pops. One. But as you can see, there you go. See, it's that back leg. He's just obviously struggling with it. Just, a, just, just a tad. Just when he goes up things, so it's obviously the pressure of his whole body weight on it. But he seems fine, kinda. So you can come down fine. So he literally like just. I'll move plate and slow motion so you can see he doesn't touch his leg on the floor, he just goes with three legs. So he just misses this leg. Is it sore? But see, I've had a good like 
squeeze about and he's he's absolutely fine. So it's hard to determine really what it is when he's acting like this. There you go. Paw. Ah! Sit. Paw. Sit. Paw. Okay. <laughs> Stop eating my fingers. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. We took him out for a walk the other day and he just, he just really slowly went along. I mean, I was walking at like half speed just to slow down for him. But he kind of came with us and he totted along because Pablo, bless him, Pablo's been absolutely hating it because obviously I haven't been able to take them out because sadly can't walk but even if we do take them out like yesterday we only went on like a short walk and it took us like double the time because obviously walking slow and Pablo just wants to get off and race and it's not good for him but like I would try and take them out separately but like Stanley's physically hurt himself and then if I take Pablo out by himself he's going to be emotionally hurt and we can't do that to him he's already, he's already bad enough Hopefully next week we can get them out and go on some adventures because that's what I was wanting to do while it was still kind of somewhat nice. It's Wednesday and he started this on Friday so it's only been like five days and obviously like I say he's getting a bit better so hopefully in the next week he'll be kind of back to normal-ish. Let's say the amount he rolls around and wrestles and stuff it'll just be a pull, a tear, a, just a must. So it, you know he's... This is what happens when you do stupid things. It is, you hurt yourself and you'll learn. No you won't, because you've got a little, little teeny tiny brain, it's about that big in your head and you don't know anything. You don't know, that's about the size of your brain. It's about that big. It's absolutely teeny tiny. Teeny tiny, but your heart is super big. It's like this big, it goes from side to side. It's a big little heart. Yes, 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 yes. Don't need the brain, no, don't need brain. Don't need brain. Scarecrow didn't have brain. He was he wasn't he was a cool little, he was a cool guy. <laughs> so anyways, I have loved this week and this is gonna be like every week and it's gonna be amazing and just like sleeping pattern straight into it. Sleeping on a night is just oh mmm. Because sleeping through the day is awful, but sleeping on a night now, I'm just I'm sleeping like a baby, I'm going to bed at a nice time, I'm waking up early, I'm spending all day, it's just been amazing. I just feel good, I'm exercising, I'm sleeping properly, it's just good. And people have said it looks like it on my face, it looks like I'm actually rested, it looks like I'm just a lot more brighter, and yeah, and it's just... It's been amazing. So, what have I actually done this week? Well, I said I was gonna do absolutely nothing and what ended up happening was I was just kind of busy all day because I was bored after about a day. I said I wasn't gonna film anything this week and I just had a week off, so next week I'll do that properly. And honestly, the amount of times I was going to film something because I was like, I just need to, I just need to do something. So when it gets to next week, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great that I can just do that and then only have like a couple, because. So, what have I done this week? Well, what have we done this week? Because we've been helping out Big time. So we had a little bit of a chill on Friday, and then we had a little bit of a chill on Saturday. And then Sunday we woke up nice and early, and it's like, oh, what are we gonna do today? Well, we can't take it out, oh, I don't know what we're gonna do. So I went out and cleaned the car. And then once I cleaned the car, I cleaned the paving stones, and then I cut the grass, and then I cleaned all the moss out of the drive. So, I need to clean my windows, so ignore that, but you can see the grass is all nice and cut. As I compare it to next door's drive, all the moss is out the drive. It just looks nice and fresh. All down there, all the bushes are trimmed. Oh, Stan, I know you can't go upstairs. You caused such an issue this week. Such an issue. But yeah, I scraped all the moss out of there, pressure washed all the patio stones, cut them edge the grass so it all looks nice for the winter. Like pressure washed outside the front of the house, cleaned it all up, all the boxes, all the bins, everything like that. So it took a full day. And then on Monday we did the same, but out the back. So you can see all the patio stones nice and clean, no moss, all cleaned up. Bushes all cut, that's dead. That's the one that's dead as well. All these trimmed, grass cut, edged. Um, obviously Stanley has been struggling getting up here, but they were covered in moss. So you can see like that there. How like green it is and then compare it to this here now because it's all been clean so we scrubbed it all and demossed it because you were slipping a little bit when it was wet weren't you yeah so just give it a nice little clean up go on so yeah i spent all of monday out here 
Leaf. Okay. So that's looking all fresh. So when it gets to winter, there shouldn't be any kind of problems at all. Nice. Nice. I've been just spending like two days outside as well is nice, just getting loads of fresh air, just like, yeah, it's just been, it's just been a good few days. And then, and obviously you boys came outside and were just chilling with me as well, so that was really nice. So you guys got a lot of time outside as well. And then yesterday we were just like sprinkling the house, you know, doing jobs that like just don't ever really get done, like the drive. Like I would never sit before work on a Sunday and just scrape the drive manually for like four or five hours, which is what it took me. I've just gone in between everyone and scraped all the moss out. I'd have just never have done that because it's tiring, it takes up too much time and just, yeah, I've never done it. But because obviously every time we go upstairs, Stanley sits here and cries. Uh, every time we go to the toilet, he just sits and cries and I didn't like it. So, are you guys ready for this? If you've been subscribed to the channel for over four years, you'll know what's in here. If you haven't, you've probably never seen this in your life. There's actually a toilet in this room. It's now a full usable toilet. So now I can go to the toilet and then Stan doesn't have to cry. Because you like to come and sit and just watch when I'm on the toilet, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cold in this bathroom. It's really cold. It is really cold. So yeah, we have now a bathroom. It's amazing what you find when you start cleaning. We found a whole toilet. Um, question for everybody. What do you do with mops when they're wet? Because when it's summer, I leave it outside. It just dries in the sun. Excellent. When it's winter, I just like sit it on top of a radiator and it dries in like a day because it takes a long time to dry. Quick! Ooh. Almost trapped. I'd normally, oh, watch it up. Oh, jeez. I'd normally just put them in that cupboard once it's dry, but obviously when it's wet, it, you know, it, it dries in the air, then there's moisture in the air, and then the cupboard gets a bit like damp in it, and then it gets like mold and stuff. So like, I learned that the hard way. So obviously I've got to dry it before I put it back in the cupboard. Like it's not summer, it's not warm outside, it's kind of chilly, but also it's not cold inside, so the radiators aren't on. So I can't dry them. So. Drop in the comments what you do to dry a mop. Is there any like tips or is it that you just leave it out for a few, because it's basically just gonna stay wet until like next week and they like, mop the floors again and then it's just gonna stay wet permanently. So it's just gonna like live in there wet, which I'd rather it didn't, but whatever. Now any job that I thought was worth filming, I just haven't done, haven't been doing, because like I said, I thought it would be worth filming, I could do a video on it. So it's kind of just, I'm doing just awful jobs, which I'm trying to relax. And then it's like, it's not that relaxing, sitting and scrubbing and pressure washing everything. But what I'm thinking for like next week is one thing I want to do, because obviously I can't be upstairs. Upstairs is where I want to do some stuff on the computer. I wanted like, I wanted to like set up my streaming setup finally and get it all done and ready. So I mean, you guys are probably sick of me talking about me wanting to stream, but then just never doing it. So I was going to set my whole thing up and get my extras from downstairs, upstairs, so I can play games and do whatever. I've just left everything downstairs for now and we'll do it next week when he can eventually get upstairs and then we'll sort everything out. So potentially next video, the video after or something like that, we're going to be doing this wall in the office here. Because when I'm streaming, this is my backdrop. It's like half a door, half a shelf. All right, no. So it's just, I want it to be something a bit more something. So I'm gonna take the shelves down, get rid of that, fill in all the holes, get rid of all this blue tack that's still stuck on the wall, paint the wall, possibly put some new shelves up. So I'd love to do something specific with this wall. However, it's gonna to cost too much money. It's just money I don't have at the moment. So we'll just do what we can with the budget we have. So we'll just do as best we can do for free, basically. But we'll just get it a bit more, I don't know, just just, just a bit more kind of, it's... I think if we move the door, there's just like nothing. So I need to kind of fill the whole wall. Yeah, so that's probably the next video. Who's under here? Are you Babs? Are you? <laughs> Obviously we'll have to get like the camera set up again, all the streaming set up between the computer and that and then my Xbox and everything that I need to all get sorted. But that's why the steps are here because I'm gonna paint that wall. So obviously I need to get up to the top when I'm scraping stuff off and that. So got the got the got the ladders ready. 
Yeah, I'm coming back down. See, this is why I can't come upstairs because I just feel so bad that he sits there and just stares up like. Oh, he's oh bless ya, bless your little cotton socks, bless your little cotton socks. Like I said in the last video though, this week was just like a week off, I wasn't planning on filming or recording anything, so it wasn't going to be anything particularly too exciting, I just thought I'd update you guys on A, Stanley and B, just kind of what we got up to. I work tomorrow, two days, and then next week we're going to start, well, I say filming properly, but like actually like recording stuff and all, like just getting stuff planned and getting stuff done. More content filled stuff, whether you think me painting the wall is interesting, it's literally watching paint dry, but there's just a bit of substance to the content rather than just me in front of the camera or whatever so thanks to everybody sending your concerns about stanley like he's, he's fine at the moment he's obviously still a bit sore but we'll see how it goes we'll keep an eye on it we'll i'll keep you guys updated on the progress and just thank you for your continued support you're all very supportive of my decision to go part time and pursue this and you're very you guys are just amazing and i'm very very grateful for all of you so thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one peace out